I'm Linda Jo Martin, known on BookTube as Linda Book Lady, and today I'm going to be doing sort of an experimental kind of video, something I don't normally do, but I got a magazine in the mail and I want to share it with you. I haven't even looked inside of it yet. It's called The Folk Art Messenger. This comes from the Folk Art Society of America, and I consider my art folk art, so I subscribe to this, or should I say I joined the Folk Art Society, so they send me a few copies every year. I'm not even sure what that is. Um, let me show you the back cover. It seems a little more traditional. So the front cover is like wild, just totally wild. So let's see what that's all about. This artist has really a very compelling story. He was in the hospital with a heart bypass and while he was there, he didn't have anything to do, so he told his wife to bring him some art supplies, and he started making these drawings. And if you look at the cover here, there's actually a little heart down here. I think there's a meaning to that. He's probably grateful to be alive and also now grateful to be a folk artist. His name is C.M. Laster. C.M. Laster. So that's the first article in this magazine this month. I have not even opened this magazine until just now. So first there's a message from the executive director here of the Folk Art Society of America. It says in here that the goals of the Folk Art Society of America are to aid the artists, publicize and promote their work, inform our readers of museum and exhibition news, and keep in touch with the folk, self-taught, and outsider art community. I carve a message, a sermon, Elijah Pierce's America at the Barnes Foundation. And um, this one is entitled Watergate, this one over here. C.T. McCluskey, a clown and his circus. Um, he must be the artist who did the back cover as well. Um, Bev Davies, stained glass artist. Hmm. And there's a nice article for each of these artists that is being featured with lots of illustrations. And this is uh, a look through his eyes, Thornton Dial's drawings, something like that looks sort of like modern art kind of thing and I'm sure there's a wonderful story that goes with each one of these artists it's just a discovery waiting to be made stunning Slotkin folk art full masterpiece auction wow online auction I guess I missed it I'm guess I wasn't in the market for art at the time anyhow this is uh, interesting. There's a workshop for naive art in Bayate. Where is Bayate? It's in Cuba. They're making a workshop for art in Cuba, and it talks about it here in the magazine. And here's the part that we like a lot here on this channel, because this is a booktube channel. Um, these are the book reviews, so let's see what books they have reviewed here. Alfred Hare, Heart of the Highwaymen. Brighten the Corner Where You Are, a novel inspired by the life of Maud Lewis. Rosie Lee Tompkins, a retrospective. Elijah Pierce's America, edited by Nancy Ierson and Zoe Whitley. And, oh no, it's in French. This is not going to go well, but Ecrites d'Art Brut. I didn't take French lessons. Graphon Monet's extravagance and the next part is like uh, letters to the editor are in the back here and then there's a calendar of exhibitions all over uh, mostly United States it looks like well it is the Folk Art Society of America and then that is it that's my entire magazine so Basically, I have some stories to go in to read about the artists and the work that they do and to learn about that and what inspired them and uh, Yeah, I, I enjoy reading about the artists. I 
knew for a long time my art wasn't normal, but I didn't know what to call it. I finally decided after some heavy research that I do folk art and having the Folk Art Society of America there for me to join uh, makes me feel like I'm part of something instead of just off by myself doing weird stuff. So, yeah, thank you for going through my magazine with me today. It's been a blast, and I'll talk to you in another video.